catch to save the game. And the Braves have stunned New York tonight. They've stunned a lot of people tonight. Maybe the catch of the year right there. High deep drive into left field. Down into the corner again. And Intendi near the wall. Leaps. He's hung up. Did he catch it? Oh, you got to be kidding me. He took one back. A spectacular play by the rookie. Hung up by the hips on the wall, and he brings it back down the left field line. What a sensational play. From the borough of Queens in Flushing, New York, welcome to beautiful City Field. Tonight, game two of this three-game series between the Colorado Rockies and the New York Mets. Stay tuned for Mets baseball coming up next. Noah Syndergaard gets the starting nod for the Mets. What do we need to know here, HR? Well, Matt, he's had good success against left-handed hitters, hitting under 250 against him. When you're having that kind of success against the left-handers, you're going to be in a lot of games. Here's Charlie Blackman now. He is, of course, a guy to be wary of if he gets on base. His stolen base total leads the ball club. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Branderson is under it, one away. And a chance now to check out the visiting Colorado Rockies. Who are you focused on, Dan Plezak? Yeah, keep an eye on Charlie Blackman. He's really excelled against right-handed pitching this season, hitting over 300 against them coming in. So given the matchup he's faced with here, I wouldn't be surprised at all to see him make some noise at the plate. And that will bring up the speedy outfielder David Dahl. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. One out, nobody on. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. And that's the beauty of having a guy in the two hole like Not him. Third. He's almost like another third leadoff baseman. hitter. Working a walk with just one out. I think there's a good chance that he's going to be on the move at some point. Here's Nolan Arenado. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. One and one. Here it is. And there he goes towards second. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. Not in time as he steals second. Good steal of second there. And that really sets up the middle of this order to drive in a run and break this scoreless ball game. Always great if you can score first early in the game. That's popped up now towards short right field. Conforto has a long run, but he takes charge for route number two. Batting four. Shortstop. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop Trevor Story. He went deep in the contest last night. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. He swings at the fastball here and lifts it into the air to shallow center. Conforto is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. Rocky strand one. Now the Mets will step up for their first shot in a scoreless ball game. Tyler Anderson will be on the mound for the Rocks. Harold, any thoughts? Well, he's having an exceptional season. He's able to put together a solid year at ERA in the low twos. He's been around the plate. He's pitching deep in games. So I expect to see another dominated performance from him with his team in the game, and him maybe walking out of here with another W. Now in the box, Jose Reyes. He is, of course, a guy to be wary of if he gets on base. A stolen base total leads the ball club. Fly ball out toward left center field. Waiting on it is Dahl. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Time now to take a look at Terry Collins' Mets starting lineup in this one. What's the key to sending fans home smiling tonight, Harold? 
Matt, this is a team after my heart. They lead the league in stolen bases. Look out. They're going to come at you running. They're going to run to first if they walk. They're going to steal second if it's sitting out there. They just run. I'm excited to watch them play. Stepping up now as Drupal Cabrera, currently third on the team in stolen bases. So we'll see if he gets an opportunity to do any running in this one. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Dahl waits on it. Two down. Batting third. Here's your one assessment. First chance for him at the plate as he comes into this one right at the 300 mark for the year. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. Here's Cespit is with a drive. That's high and deep to left field. And that's a home run into the top tank. A solo home run here off the bat of Yoenis Cespedes. Number 23 for him thus far. And the Mets are on the board first, one to nothing. tell you one thing you might get away with throwing a ball in that location in the minor leagues but when you get one up like that in the zone right over the plate against these guys you're going to get exactly what he got a really bad result. Standing in now Neil Walker. Walker lays off there. It's two balls and a strike. Harold, as we take a look at the Rockies starting play here tonight, they have not been playing their best baseball of late as they've dropped four of their last five. Yeah, Matt, I mean, nobody likes to lose game one of the road trip, but you go on the road thinking, hey, if we can play 500 for the full road trip, we're in good standing. So right now, you're in game two of the road trip, and you know what? If you win today, you're what? 500 so you're actually on goal that's why this game is a big one for you to be on point that's the perfect pitch after you've just brushed a guy back the hitter probably isn't sitting up there thinking you're going to flip something soft up there pitch swung on and hit in the air after it is Blackman he gets there to make the catch and that ends the inning Mets draw first blood thanks to this solo home run Second inning coming up, and the Mets have an early 1-0 lead. Here's Cargo, Carlos Gonzalez. As you get a look at his current righty-lefty splits entering play in this one. Ready on one and two. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. In this day and age with analytics and the shift applied all over the field, this team is old school. They may be a dinosaur. They don't shift as much as everybody else. They play that station standard baseball. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. He's got that average up over the 290 mark to begin play. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. He's just got great strikeout stuff. In his last start, he racked up double-digit Ks, and it looks like he could finish up in that range again here. He's really an exciting pitcher to watch when he's sending guys packing like this. 
Now at the plate, Ian Desmond. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. We're in the second, 1-0 Mets early on. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to 1-2 and two now. Swung on, and this ball is absolutely crushed. Forget about it. That one is out of here. This game is tied. A solo home run that time for Ian Desmond. 12 home runs for him now thus far, as the Rockies pull even now at one apiece. Well, when it left its back, I didn't think it had the height to even clear the fence. Shows you how much I know. That thing was a laser shot that just kept going and going and going. Wow, that was impressive. In now, Dustin Garneau. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Rockies are able to knock things up thanks to this solo home run. On to the bottom of inning number two, all even at one apiece. So stepping in, Michael Conforto. And as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. A changeup over the inside corner. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Working the plate is Larry Bullard. Yeah, Matt. Bullard's got a pretty fair strike zone all around. He'll miss a call here and there on the black. But what umpire doesn't? Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. And he'll step on first himself for the out. All right, here's how the Rocks line up defensively, brought to you by Majestic. And I'm looking down second base at DJ LeMayhew. Talk about overlook. Now, this guy's won gold gloves, and people don't even know about it. He's got tremendous range, great hands, makes all the plays. Digging in, Curtis Granderson. His average for the year sits in the 280s entering play. Granderson waits on the 1-2. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Boy, that's a good pitch. Change up away off the plate with two strikes. I love it. And here's a ball hit in the air. LeMayhew is there for it, and he makes the catch for the second out. Here's Lucas Duda now, and he's looking to turn the page. The bat's been ice cold over the last eight or so ball games. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. And now from the air, a jump throw. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. More from the show, Saturday Baseball, following this message and a word from our local stations. So coming to the plate, Tyler Anderson, 9-1-2 and two due up. One and one, here it comes. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Well, that was a good changeup right there. You see how he swung through that ball? Man, he's got him thinking now because that was clearly an indication he was looking fastball and got fooled. And a neck-high fastball that time. Hit out towards second, taken by Walker. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Now batting, center fielder. Riding in once Charlie again, Blackman. Charlie Blackman. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Bases are empty, one man out. Lined foul right over the Mets dugout. And a fast.
fastball. Mm, tough take there, but it's even back at two and two. Sinker, three and two now. David Dahl waits on deck. Mind to the right side. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. No respect. They know you're struggling, so they came right at you with the fastball 3 2, and you got the base hit. That's got to make you feel pretty good. Stepping in now, David Dahl. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Oh, he's going to want that pitch again. That ball's right down the middle in his wheelhouse. His eyes lit up. He just didn't let it travel deep enough or he could square it and keep it fair. Cespedes is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. The batter, the Digging in for his second at bat, Nolan Arenado. Oh for one for him here in this one. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. A wave and a miss. 91 mile an hour slider. Man, a lot. There's not many people that throw that one right there. That is the elite group right there. I would throw that pitch every time. Swing and a pop up behind home plate, and that'll get out of play and into the VIP seats. Working for the punch out and the offering. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. One left for Colorado. Home half of the third coming up, tied at one. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. He enters play, hitting in the 260s for the year. Now here's the pitch. Grounded to third. Arenado's got it. And he set down one away. So striding in, Noah Syndergaard. He'll get to take his first cuts here. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. A changeup right on the outside corner for a strike. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. High pop up calling for it Arenado and that's the second out of the inning third baseman number seven Jose ready for another chance Reyes. Jose Reyes it was a fly out for him to start the home first a one and one count here's the pitch And that one stayed too low, apparently. Well, he clearly read the scouting report. This guy's been sizzling hot. And look at how careful he's been pitching him. He's fallen behind now, three and one. As Dribble Cabrera would be next. Here comes the three one pitch. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Hit in the air out to left field. Dahl is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Mets go down one, two, three. We played three full. We're tied at one. With Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian with you as Trevor Story digs into the right side of the batter's box to kick off the inning. And the pitch on two and one. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Under it is Granderson, one away. The right fielder, number five, Carlos. Digging in to try it again, Carlos Gonzalez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. One run, two hits, no errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. 
And Gonzalez lays off as he goes to two and one now. Well, when you're behind an account like this pitcher is, it's a good time to work in something off speed if you're confident in it. Most hitters are looking for fastball. Well, that's a true indicator he's looking for a fastball in. He wanted to spin the win right there and knock one as far as he could. He got the off speed pitch inside and he pulled off of it. Conforto is over just a few steps to his left as he takes it for route number two. Into the box now, DJ LeMayhew comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here's the 1 and 1 pitch. Hit hard on the ground at first. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. Well, he tried to sneak a fastball by him, and he just turned on it and put it right past the diving first baseman. The first baseman, Ian Desmond. Into the box, Ian Desmond. High ties him up with a fastball inside, one and two. That fastball right there will humble you. He threw it right by him. So now what do you do? You spread out. Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Rocky Strand one on to the bottom of the fourth, tied 1-1. One, one. Digging in the switch hitter as Dribble Cabrera. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts at the bottom of the fourth. And that's what you want from your leadoff hitter. Shows well, some great patience 52. and discipline, making Yo, the pitcher is? labor to start the game. The result is a leadoff walk and a chance to make some early noise. Into the box now, Yoannis Cespedes. Ah, and he took something off of it there. It's one and two. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. And the changeup is way low that time. Here's the pitch on two and two. Just got a piece up the line. He's got it. And indeed, no look at second. He'll go straight to first and take the sure out. The batter. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Neil Walker. So far, 0 for 1 with a fly out. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. In the dirt here. Runner holds as the count moves to 2 and 1. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. One run, just one hit, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. And this one's in the dirt. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. On a rope to the second baseman. And the runner gets back. No double play. Right Stepping in, three. Michael Conforto. Michael he got Conforto. on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Three and no count. Here it comes. A swing and a miss at a ball down. Now that is power. You want to challenge me? I'm giving my big swing. That was the big swing right there. I loved it. Swing and a ball sliced foul into the seats down the left field line. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Mayhew's got it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. So it's no runs on no hits, no errors, and a runner left. We played four full, all tied at one and one. So digging in now, Dustin Garno. He'll start things out against Noah Syndergaard as this inning is underway. Wait. 
slow roller back to the mound. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. The pitcher number 44. Stepping up to the plate, Tyler Anderson. He's 0 for 1 thus far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Swings through it for strike number two. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Yeah, it really does, Matt, but this offense isn't helping him too much. It sort of feels like the next team to score is going to win this thing. So he notched the backwards K on that one. Tyler Anderson becomes the second out here in inning number five. In now, Charlie Blackman. A ball and two strikes to count now with the bases empty and two away. Well, I think his eyes lit up when he saw that pitch coming up at his eye level. Yeah, good luck. But hey, a high fastball all of a sudden becomes really dangerous for a pitcher if it's not spotted above the zone. A little height difference makes all the difference. So a ringing single here to center field makes it two hits for him on the night. And as we give you a look at the Rockies leaderboard, you can see his total there currently second best on the ball club. And that'll bring up the speedy outfielder David Dahl. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. And he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. Curtis Granderson will start things off when we return. Halfway home, all even at one apiece. In is Curtis Granderson. He'll look to light a spark under this lineup that hasn't found the scoreboard since back in the first inning. Yeah, and for me, the story has been the starting pitching they faced. It's been very difficult to rebound and, quite frankly, dominate after getting roughed up a bit in the first inning of a start. So I'll give him a lot of credit for what he's been able to do. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. You know, what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. Off speed pitch, good for strike two. Well, that changeup right there sets up a lot of things. Now the count's two and two. He can come back in with a fastball, and it's going to look like it's moving a little bit better. Or he can go back to that changeup. Right side and right into the shift. Gloved by LeMahieu. No problem here, one away. A little bit over halfway home tonight, bottom of the fifth, as we get a look at our line score to this point. And boy, just one hit for these guys, and they have not swung the bats well. That's putting it mildly. Here's Lucas Duda now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Now the pitch. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah. Takes a look at a change up there, and it's a ball and two strikes now. The 1 and 2 pitch. back at him and it hit him. Fortunately he's able to stick with it and get the out at first and that'll put an end to the inning. Down in order go the Mets. We've played five full tied at one aside. Digging in once again David Dahl. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Into the windup. Here's the 2 and 1 pitch. 
A cold strike on the inside corner. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound. But it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Swing and a little blooper to center. Here comes Granderson. He's got it one away. The batter, number 20. Ready for another chance. Nolan Arenado, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Now a fastball sorry, taken cool. outside here as it moves it to two and two now. He's been doing a nice job out there on the mound, but the deeper you get into the game, the more the hitters have seen you. This is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. And a neck-high fastball that time. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2-2 two -two pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. And that finds its way into center for a one-out base hit. A lot of base hits up the middle. Set your sights up the alleys and try to take it back up the middle hard like he did right here. Nice job. Proper story. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop Trevor Story. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. And smart to lay off there as the fastball misses. It's 1 and 2 now. I like the high fastball 0 and 2. Now I know he's sitting 1 and 2, but you showed him a great fastball. Now he's got to honor that, and you can set him up with anything. Runner on first here with one gone and a 1 1 tie. A fastball that just misses inside. A lot of times you see guys in the middle of the order get worked away, but not right here. They're keeping it inside on him. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line in right. Conforto on the move, two gone. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Ready for another shot now. Carlos Gonzalez. Carlos He's Gonzalez. 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Here's the 1 1. Looks like he swung it underwater that time for strike two. A runner on first with two away. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. One left for Colorado. Score remains deadlocked in one. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Noah Sindergaard comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more of a pitch to contact kind of guy. And obviously, it's working so far. And the way he pitches, it really keeps his pitch count down. Dahl moves over near the line as he puts it away for the first out of the inning. Now batting. Third baseman. Digging in to try Jose. it again. Jose Reyes. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. One out, nobody on. Hey. Called strike over the outside part of the plate. He's looking really great on the bump right now. I mean, it's been a while since he's allowed a base runner, and he just jumped ahead of another hitter right there. Hit on the ground to short. Story picks it up. Throw gets him. Two down. The shortstop, number 13. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Two out, nobody on. High in the air out towards shallow right. Gonzalez has a read on it, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Mets go down one, two, three. Still tied one apiece.
Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. All square at one as we get set to start the seventh. But before we do, let's take a look at the game summary to this point. Here's the second baseman, DJ LeMayhew. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Riding in once again, Ian Desmond he comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. And he lays oh. off ball four. Now the potential go ahead run is on base here. Well, when you've been out there as long as he has, you have to expect to lose a little precision in your location. He's up over 90 pitches now, so he might be starting to tire a little bit. Something to keep an eye on. And here now is Dustin Garno. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Looks like a left hander has begun to get loose out in that Mets bullpen. And the slider just stayed north of the strike zone that time. Nail that runner. Dribbled to the right side, but it gets foul. Possible go ahead runs on first, one away. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. He's thrown a lot of pitches already, and man, this is a long AB. This at bat, when you look back at it, might be the one that takes him out of the game. Still hanging with him, another good swing to keep it going. Another 2 2 offering. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Hey, not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3 2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Well, now they wait to work the count. This is a long A-B, but if they wanted to have any shot at him, you need to have these kind of at-bats early in the game. Here comes Granderson. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Gerardo Parra will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number eight, Gerardo Parra. Hit hard up the middle, and that finds its way through for a base hit. Well, he executes the sinker, but the batter put the ball in play, and sometimes you just find a hole. Tough the break for the fielder, pitcher. Charlie Blackmon. Here's Charlie Blackman now. He's two for three thus far. Two men are on with two men out. Your attention, please. Now so they'll go to the bullpen now, and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. Hoping to keep it tied, here it comes. And the changeup is way low that time. Boy, the Rockies have been looking for that big hit all game long. They haven't been able to come through so far, but now would be the time to come through. Two and two. Two down, runners at first and second. Liner towards second. But well, this won't get over the second baseman's glove as he's got Ladies it to end gentlemen. the inning. It's two left for, for Colorado. Score inning. remains tied one to one. Carlos Estevez gets the call from the pen Colorado. to take over on the mound and Number start the home seven. Carlos Estevez. So striding in, Joanna Cespedes. He was a ground out victim last time up. A right-hander has started to get loose in the Colorado bullpen. Here's the one and one pitch. And the slider stayed low apparently for a ball. Set to deliver on two and one. Nope. 
ball three. Well, that's ball three, and the Mets right now would take a leadoff guy on any way they could get it. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. The pitch. Swing and a liner. But this will be a foul ball. And here's a curveball. Looked at strike three called. And that's the first out of the inning. Now batting. Second baseman. Neil Walker. Here's Neil Walker. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Bases are empty, one man out. Walker lays off there. It's two balls and a strike. Action now in that Colorado pen as a southpaw has stood up to throw out there. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Frozen with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. That was a big right strike killer, out there guys. 30. The best pitchers Michael have the ability to strike guys out when they really need to. And that second out was really important at this point of the game. Could be something we look back on later when the game's over. Stepping in now, Michael Conforto. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. On to first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. Down in order go the Mets. Score remains deadlocked at one. At the plate, David Dahl. And this tie ball game is a battle of the bullpens now, and I'm sure you're enjoying that, Dan. Bullpens are such a big part of baseball now, Matt. All these teams have such good seventh, eighth, and ninth inning guys. It all boils down to whose bullpen is better. And he looks at one in there, one and two. To two balls and two strikes now. Here's the pitch on two and two. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Here's another two two. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first down. Two very well pitched games thus far. There you see it. Each team with a one and a whole lot of zeros. One one our score at this point in the ball game. Things have been tight throughout. Ready once again, Nolan Arenado. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. One out, nobody on. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Cespedes is there. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now batting, shortstop, Trevor Story. So stepping in, Trevor Story. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Here it comes on 1 and 1. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Bases are empty here with two men out. And that misses 2 and 2. Pretty standard curve in the dirt looking for a strike out there. But that was a good job of recognizing it and holding back at the plate. And he'll stay alive here, but just barely as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count holds at two and two. Well, that's back-to-back -back breaking balls. He's able to foul. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Three up, three down for Colorado. Still tied, one apiece. Mike right, Dunn comes on to work now, now and he's their Milwaukee. usual closer, but Number this is obviously not a Mike save opportunity. Dunn. Yeah, and this is all about just getting him some work, guys. He hasn't had a chance to come in and close a game out for several days now, so they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and give him the chance to pitch in a real game situation here. Here comes the 3-1 pitch. 
a high fastball is in there. Well, these hitters can expect to see a heavy dose of that big fastball from this reliever. It's a major part of his arsenal. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. Hit sharply on the ground. And that's going to get through into left. So there's your possible go ahead run on base to lead off the inning. And your go ahead run is in at second base here with a leadoff double. Just goes to show if you're going to well, throw that two seam fastball away, which I don't think is the best pitch anyway, you better start that thing out of the zone and let it work its way back to the corner. With this one, it started out on the corner, so it leaked back right over the heart of the plate and got whacked. Here's Lucas Duda now. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Looked like he might have gotten squeezed a little bit right there. And you know he's talking to himself in his head about it. That kind of stuff goes both ways, though. Hitters get their fair share of crummy calls going against them, too. Into the box, Travis Garneau. Now a bunt attempt here. Underhanded flip, and the throw will come to first, so the sacrifice works as planned. Go ahead, run to third there Off after the bunt. Sacrifices aren't everyone's favorite play because you give up precious outs, but they do have a lot of ways now to take the lead. David Wright will be called on to pinch hit now, and he'll do it in a golden RBI spot as he's got two men in scoring position with only one gone in the inning. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Catch is made. Here comes the go-ahead run for the plate. But it is not in time as they take the lead here in the late going. Hey, putting together a good at-bats late in the games can really help out. And how about this sack fly right here? Good at-bat that leads to his team getting the lead here in the late innings. Now with the plate, Jose Reyes. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind him because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. Duda is on his way home. And the runner coming to score from second is now it's a three to one ball game. Well, that base hit right there gives him two run cushion. When you have a two run cushion late in the game, you got to feel pretty good about yourself. And he'll snap one over to first. And he's back easily. And another snap throw to the bag, keeping particularly close tabs on him. Two out with the man at first. Standing in now as Dribble Cabrera. He swings and sends it on a line to right center. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. Worth a second look here as this is a beauty to end the inning. We're back with more on this Saturday night after this. Back in Queens at City Field as we get set for the top of the ninth inning in this one. Jerry Spamilia takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Here's Cargo, Carlos Gonzalez. Fourth trip to the plate for him, and he's at risk of ending that nice hitting streak that he's put together. Yeah, chances are it's on his mind, Matt, but you just have to let that get out of the way as best you can. You have to approach this at bat just like any other. Otherwise, you're just getting in your own way. Juan Ligares is into the ball game now as he assumes duties in center field. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Popped high in the air. Duda coasts under it. 
Makes the play, one away. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth as we take a look at league saves leaders entering play. And as you see there, he sits in fourth place in that department in the National League. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMahieu. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Swing and a miss on the sinker, and it's one and two. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit hard on the ground at first. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. That line drive base hit, now it brings the tying run to the plate. You know Matt they was talking about a bloop and a blast. Maybe it is a rope and some hope. We'll see how the ninth inning plays out. Into the box now, Ian Desmond. That one's in there, three and one. Runner at first here, one man out. Swung on and missed three and two. Well, that is a good pitch. A sinker down with that kind of movement, it is really hard to hit. No wonder he swung and missed. Swing and a miss, and they come back from a 3-0 count to sit him down on strikes, and there are two gone. Not too often you see an at bat go from 3-0 and to a strikeout, so that's a pretty good job on the mound right there. Kind of nice that he got a free strike on the 3-0 take, but he still had to put it in the zone. Jordan Patterson will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. The one two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. And with about 32,000 in the building, they're on their feet now. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. Two two, here it is. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. The two two, one more time. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw on to first is going to be in time to get him. And the Mets have taken games one and two here at home as this one is over. And he puts a bow on this one to end it. How about his 25th save of the season? He's proven to be a solid tool at the back of the bullpen, and every team needs one of those. Tonight's ball game comes to a close. Three to one, the final. The New York Mets claim the victory despite being held to only three hits. Jerry Blevins earns his third win of the year in relief. Jerry Spamilia closes the door for the save, his 25th of the year. So that'll just about do it. For Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Three runs on three hits. No errors. 20, 25 years from now, you're going to want to say, I was there when Ken Griffey Jr. made his home debut. So don't forget that on Monday night. There's a drive into the gap in left center field and deep left center field, and Henderson's not going to get to it. It's off the base of the wall, and Griffey to second base in his first major league at bat, a ringing double off the 375 marker, and we have seen that all spring. Welcome to the show, Ken Griffey Jr. Ground ball to short. This should end.